Hello everybody, this is Jamie back again, or you can call me by my new name, even in Starlight 97. Well, so, today is the first day of the new year, and what are you expecting from this year to happen? And, well, there's a lot of resolutions that everyone is hoping for in the new year, and so am I. So what you're, I'm doing right now is I'm going to be doing a collection video. It's not a wooden ride collection video, but something similar to a wooden railway collection video I did last year. It's going to be covering my entire model railway collection from engines from range and order and all that stuff. And I haven't really done a model railway collection video in like, I don't know, I don't know how long it's been. I did upload one back in 2017 and I planned and I made one in 2018, but kind of lost track, but maybe at some point in time I might get around to resuming it. This uh, collection video will focus on every model from every range, including engines from different ranges, from Hornby, from Bothman, and all that kind of stuff. It's not going to be focusing on engines and Thomas characters in general, it's not going to be in chronological order of characters, but they're going to be focusing on like, you know, the um, ranges, how they came out. Thomas Reigns, I'm going to be talking about um, the chronological order of their release dates and all that stuff. So, Happy New Year, let's get to the video, shall we? Start off with my Hornby range, we have my original Hornby Thomas, that no longer works, original Percy, he's lost all his buffers though and he doesn't run very well, Gordon, Duck, Diesel, he still runs okay. James, he's probably dead. Toby. Ben. I've been thinking about changing my mind and getting the Buffman version someday. Though Hornby Toby is quite tall and Ben is quite wide. As well as the Bill model. I'm not sure if that was a bit of stuff there. The Ben models, Bill and Ben models are quite wide and Toby's is tall in my opinion. So, but I think the Buffman models would be a suitable size scale for the have, if I was to do proper remakes of them, I think in size comparison they would work with the Bachman models. I think they're in perfect scale, but I'd say with the capacity of how Toby's running, he's running rather poor, and Ben, he still runs fine, but when I use the new power supply, they only just cause it to burn out, but that's just my guess. So I've got Henry, this is the tender driven version, not the new version. D7101, or more commonly known as Bear. Stepney. I think, I think I must have given him some silver buffers sometime earlier this year. Hornby Emily, which is not the actual Sterling bases. Although this version of Emily is kind of rare, you should go for the Bachman one. But I think the Hornby one, if you are going to go for the Hornby one, be my guess, but um, he's, she's going to be costing quite a ton on eBay and going to be harder to find. So I suggest get the Bachman one, as it's more of a good one. Here's Hornby Edward. I never owned the original one growing up as a kid, and I mean, first saw him in stores in 2008, but it wasn't until 2017 I got the reintroduction model of him. So, also the face looks a bit more uh, CGI looking, which. I don't know, don't get me wrong, it does, it's not that bad, it's just, I feel like the Hornby Edward could have been done a bit better, they could have used the T9 class version, uh, but the Bachman one is the only official one that's currently signing, oh, signing out there. Not sure why I threw this in there, but so it's the reintroduction Hornby Percy. This one is to actually replace my original one, because you can see, my old one from my childhood is actually in rough shape, lost a bit of a buffer there, apparently all his buffers are gone, but I'm going to only be using the new Percy from now on, because you know, it's got that white running board, but although it's not really that detailed, I still feel it's a good more. I don't know why I threw him in there, but it's my only non-rail vehicle, Bertie the Bus, although it is not really a train or electrodized model, it is motorized, but this is the original Hornby Bertie, but the Bertie Mall was actually part of the Thomas range that, you know, it actually came with a set, although there have been two versions of Bertie with his stickers changed over time, but there was never a difference with the face. So it was just thrown in there just because of collection purpose sakes. So that rounds out my entire Hornby Thomas collection. And one thing I'd like to say is, so my goal in life is to own as many of the Hornby Thomas models as I can, 
without actually going bankrupt at some point. But that's just my proper opinion, it's my proper request. Um, quest. It's a proper goal, it's not going to be a very big one, but it'll do for purposes. But anyways, here we are, I have, on to the Bathman Thomas range, I have Mavis, the first one, and Donald, with no Douglas. Hopefully I'll get Douglas someday. Not sure what he's doing here, but it's the Western engine from the Toy Story 3 ch train set. Um, it doesn't have a tender, which is sad, which is disappointing. I do wish they gave him a tender though. It would have been made more sense because, you know, those Western engines did have tenders on in the actual film, but not in the set or even the Lego one. It's kind of disappointing, but you know, in other sets they, with the set, it was, other sets they were in, they didn't have like the tender, but I think they were like a, in the actual film. If you were supposed to find one, then maybe throw it onto that. So yeah, that'd be it. Next up, I have um, engines from different ranges. So I'll start off with the Hornby range. Here's Flying Scotsman, Mullard in his BR livery, Evening Star, one of my favourites. Sorry, the quality. Uh, the original Hornby Black 5, LNER B12, I'm not going to use this as Alfred, so don't ask. A GNR J13, one of the popular little classic four wheel locomotives. It's a Class D class in. Oops, sorry, my phone just clicked. Um, it's a Class D industrial tank, a Caledonian Railway 040T class tank, I forgot the name of it. But um, I think it's a pug base. Is I think it's a zero F or I think I imagine the British Monarch class. Can't remember what the actual base it was called. A three F Ginty in an LMS livery. Oh yeah, that B12 is actually new from a couple of years ago. By the way, a new addition to the collection here as well. This is a model railway collector's edition. Well, I think it's the 2009 one. It's actually a short version of Thomas Bases but um, it's only got four wheels so I wouldn't say they did use this for original Thomas at some point during the 90s but I think they just look kind of off um, another engine of this class is the Moss Mossley whatever you call them don't know how to pronounce it 38xx class County of Bedford a I'm not sure what it's a core but it's a GWR 101 class I think the kind of Rare. I think there was only like one of these available, but sadly they were scrapped. Also, the front buffers of this were missing when I got it. It came in a big lot, by the way. Also, in that same lot came this engine of the same bases, which is Roger. And then an apple light green version timed Little Giant. And King Edward the First. I also don't know what brand this is, but it's a US. It's like a USA Dark Tank. It's actually what Rosie's cars are based on, but. The difference is there's no buffers on this, so it's just going to be like a freelance design. Um, I think that's how it looks in my opinion. But it's just not a very good runner by the way. Some of these engines just don't run very well in my collection. I've had been collecting these for about 14 years and most of them now are kind of worn down. I think they just need a bit of service someday. But you know, four wheel models, I just feel like they're getting a bit boring to buy. Maybe I'll save up and get some more of the six wheel or tender engines, whatever. Next up is a range called Buffman Branch Lines, which actually specializes engines in the UK. So this is a 57XX, another 57XX from the Railways Children, GNS and S Railway Class 57, that is. A Mainline Railways Dean Goods, 2516. Airfix Priya Tank 6110, Lima um, Great Priya Tank 45XX. Now we're moving on to diesels now. This is my Hornby Class 08, the Bagnall Shunter, Class 47, Class 42 Warship Class titled Bembo. I'm not going to be turning this into Diesel 10. If I were to make a Diesel 10, I'll have to use an old 42 Warship or original type style class. Class 31 with DC sound fitted. A Class 105, I think it is. The diesel. Oh, sorry. 
It's a diesel power car, by the way, but I presume it's a class 101 style or class 121. Don't know what this is meant to be, but I presume it's Daisy's class. And I know Bachman is making Daisy, but I don't know. It was probably delayed because of the pandemic. High speed trains, 125 or class 43s. These are my, um, the one with the light, uh, the lights is the one that works. But this one is unpowered, so it's hard to tell from the difference. And you know all that stuff, all right. Um, they don't have hooks on the back, but they do on their coaches, so that's that's interesting. Uh, Bottom Branch Line Class 20. Uh, oops, sorry, should I get focus? Okay. Lima Class 27. Helgium Class 47. This one is actually preserved because it's D1662. And the last engine to round off this part of the engines, it's it's a baluster spreader thing. It's actually hold on. It's a self ballast, um, self propelled ballast regulator. Um, it's a Spathman model. It's actually on the spectrum range, I think. But I don't think it has any like. It does run on my power supplies, but it doesn't have any like rolling stuff. So, but I think this is actually American. I don't know what country it was from probably England or something I don't know let me know in the comments so that concludes all my engines for this collection video I'll have to take a long break and set up the Roland stock selection so enjoy the jump cut while you can I'll see you later see you in a minute Oh yeah, I also forgot to point out that I forgot to get these two out in the other section. They were not included, unfortunately, because I forgot about them at the time. So, But this is a um, Virgin 04 diesel, Class 06 mechanical shunter. Still in this, still its box just because time consumers. It's a very fast runner though, kind of cool. And I have this industrial tank engine that's actually blue. I don't think it has a realistic design. It's just probably a freelance basis. It doesn't, it's, although it does say 7178 on the side of its can, tanks, but I just don't know which the um, actual place it came from. Although I can tell it does have, oh, sorry. Don't know what it's meant to say, but I'm presuming let's say a sword though or something like anyways i think that wraps up the engine section so let's go on to the rolling stock okay and we're back okay so apologies for that rig right there but i have my lamp here to actually like get some bare lightning hopefully that will maybe work for bare lightning shots if i can get in good quasi go though my phone tends to have grainy pixely but in my bedroom as it's getting dark outside and film this at five o'clock um because if I had the footage in that quality style, it would um, turn out a bit pixely or grainy, whatever you call it. But anyways, let's go on to the next section. This is the coaches section. I was originally going to do this as all the types of rolling stock, but there was just not enough room to include all of it. I might just split it up in two, one or two or three rows and all that stuff. Anyways, moving on now. Uh, but hopefully I'll get to the trucks by the end of the day. Anyways, let's go on the coaches then. We have Annie, Clarabelle, Buffman Henrietta, she's a new addition from the last video I did. Um, also coach Hornby, Gordon's Express Coaches, Compositive and Brake. Three of James's Express Coaches, two of them are composite and one is a brake coach. The Soto Mail Van that came with the Hornby Percy's Hornby Mail set, whatever you call it. Yeah, Percy in the Mail Train set, that's called. And that mail van, that is also the same basis as the Soil Mail Coach. Um, this is the Royal Mail one. And I have three Hornby smaller uh, coaches with the silver roof. I think they're BR Maroon livery. Don't know what they are. The Toy Story 3 carriage with the Woody and Buzz figure on, although I tried to actually like, remove the Woody figure once and apparently it broke off and Apparently I was trying to make it detachable, that was the big thing. But, oh well, still there. Well, it's just out of place though. Okay, three four-wheel Great Western Railway branch line coaches. The coaches that came with the railway children set, but I don't know what the bases are. I think they're just Mark 1 coaches. The three 
four composite Hogwarts Express coaches. These are actually three composite and one great coach. Sorry, quads the end of me. Not sure what coach this is, but it's a Buffman one. I presume it's Buff. Um, it's one of those Mark um, Mark Two, whatever they call. Don't know. Not too sure about that one. This coach is a Triang um, Suburban Great Western Livery carriage. I'm not sure what the basis it is, but I'll do my research later. Another four wheel coach, which is actually just a colourful toy looking, whatever it is. I don't know what it comes from, but I'm sure you, that might do my research later. I do have another one of these, but I don't know where it is at the moment, so this is just the only one I'm currently showing. The Suburban, they are Suburban Marooned Line coaches. Interesting enough, these have, if I can get a focus on screen, these have, um, I get this. They have passengers, but they're kind of hard to see on camera right now. Um, um, these are okay, but if you don't see them probably on screen, but I'm sure they might be seen on screen probably. But <clears throat> it doesn't really focus on camera. Anyways, um, uh, two Mark One. Um, they are uh, Great Western Railway coaches. Another. BR Mark 1 coach, Great Western Railway. This is a restaurant coach, by the way. Don't know where I got it from, but it can. I did come from a rare heritage railway. Total of five um, LNER Teak Gresley coaches. One of them actually has two missing buffers. Next to the brake coach, the one that has two missing buffers and a coupling hook. Um, two BR LNER coaches in that same liver. I can't remember what they're called. They're like the BR Crimson or. Um, Cream and red, whatever they're called. The Clementary um, Luxuriant uh, Eleni Artique coaches, I'm not sure, but they're actually based on what Old Slow coaches are. Um, they are based they are based off the Old Slow coach, but I don't remember which actual type they're called, so I'm just gonna say that. Um, four Lima coaches, Express coaches, they are Mark 1, whatever they're called. This one's a restaurant car, the other two are composite, and this one's a brake coach. Then I have these BR Mark III coaches in the BR in the city style. There's one in just blue, and one with the yellow lining on the top. So, I, so that is the coaches section. Give me a moment so I can set up my um, other rolling stock pieces. Oh boy. Okay, the next part of the video is, it's going to be small, but the last one will be very big one, but it's covering my other brake fans and cranes, so here we go. I have three of these brown brake fans. The first one there is actually a 12 ton one. I forgot which one this was again. This is a 20 ton one, I think that's the first brake fan I got. And a six, and another 20 ton brake fan. I can't remember what they were called, but they might be the ones that like the ones you usually see on the TV series. Okay, a blue brake van. Don't remember what type these are. Sorry, forgotten. A Buffman brake van. And any Hornby 20 ton brake van. I won't be using this for spiteful brake van. The Buffman spiteful brake van's released. I'll probably slap that face on one day. <laughs> Maybe. A number 20 tone brake van. Yeah, that is 20 tone. And two Great Western Railway towed brake vans with one that has a light red light on it. The Toy Story 3 caboose. Not sure what this is doing here, but it's a GWR horse wagon. Oh, my arm just bashed one of the boxes. Um, I, I lied, so trucks will be later in the video, but I thought I included it in there just for like space and time consuming. But I just really thought it'd be an idea just to save some time. Okay, we just have the uh, next crane. We have, oh, England Departing Crane. Sorry, my camera's a bit shaky. Uh, just no flat beds. And two of the giant breakdown trains. The one on the left is a Christmas present for 2014. The one on the, the right though is actually broken, unfortunately. Strings come off and the hook is gone. It's something a bit stupid at my old house with it, but I'm not gonna go into depth in that because I don't wanna you know, embarrass you guys. So, okay, so let's 
do the next jump cut for the next part, which will cover trucks in the last section. Okay, I forgot to include this in the um, brake van collection, the section where I had the... I forgot to include this one in the brake van section of brake vans and the cranes, you know, but it's the SR20 tone brake van, I think it is. Oops, sorry. Not sure, but it doesn't say anywhere. Let me check the box quickly. Um, the Southern Railway brake van, and yeah, that's it really. Just forgot to include it in the section. That was all. Okay, so let's go on to the last like, section of the video. Alrighty, everybody. I'm sorry it took a long time, but I'm back now for the final part of this collection, which covers all of the trucks that I own. And oh boy, wow. It's a really big collection. I'll just wait until I go through it all. So, that's then, let's get to it. Here's Scruffy. This is a new addition to the collection. Troublesome, three troublesome trucks that are painted grey. Four open wagon trucks. I originally had these two to start with, but then I got these two back in August last year. Now I have a total of four of them. Five scrap cars. Don't really need that many scrap cars anyway. A Teen Valley Crenate Co. Red Truck. BQC Short Plank Truck. CCT Van, one of my favorite pieces of bronze stock. That's actually new. Um, a Airfix Conflat with, no, I think it's a low loader. With, um, I think it's a low wagon, low Mac with a container flatbed. A vent van. A coal and coke truck. I think this is a coke truck. I'm not sure what these trucks are. see. Oxo van. Uh, Cheltenham number two, Crook and Greenway. Um, limited edition uh, twin era 2015 pack. These are very special because I got mine with the number 1507, which is special to me. I'm not going to mention it, why? Uh, Toy Story 3 bank boxcar. Uh, shaft materials handling limited edition van. <laughs> Sorry, I just had a hair on it. Uh, Scarwood, Arnold Sands, um, Chance and Hunt Limited, and private free plank, private plank wagons. Bolsover truck. Something new to this, it's the Iron Ore Tipper, the Armoured Truck, don't know what brand this is. These two hopper trucks, I don't know what brand they are, but I'm presuming Triang. Um, what brand is it? Oh, sorry, I accidentally flipped it over. I don't know what brand this is, I'm presuming Hornby, presumably Hornby or Triang, but it's a container low 13 ton wagon. A brown van, I don't know the name of that. But it's actually Triang, so yeah, it's probably like an old van I could just use. A new addition, a free plank truck that's weathered. Camel, Laid and Co. A red trying truck, which is, I really like because of the opening doors. A brown van, that's Hornby with the red roof. Bachman Low Mac van, a low loader wagon. This red long plank truck with the very long words, which I'm not going to say because it will take forever. <laughs> Yellow and blue kind of toy era truck. Kit Kat van. A um, McVetti's van. Jay Hackett and Co. and Rails and Sun private wagons. Um, the three circus vans. Hornby Collector's exclusive tanker. Soto fuel tanker. Two presents, Christmas trucks. One of them is 2011. This one's the green one's 2013. The bronze one is 2011. Uh, Cheltenham Crook and Greensway, another blue truck. I think I already have one of these, but I think I think if I compare it with them later, it might just be the same car inside. Uh, Cadbury Bourneville, uh, Shell Tanker, Oxford Rail Shearbrook red truck, Lime Back Wagon painted brown. That's actually new. Hornby Low Mac Wagons that came with the uh, codename F, codename Strike Force set. This Great Western Railway uh, 10 ton, 
I think it's a BR 10 ton ventilated van. United Dairies Milk Tanker. If you remember in the previous collect, oh no, I haven't actually uploaded it. In the previous collection video that I post was delayed of editing, I lost, I could not find it, my milk tank right here, but now, but when I open up my class 20 book out of the box and when I was revealing what was inside it, I just discovered it was there, so it came out to my surprise. A BR, a O double A wagon, another 16 T material truck, a yellow truck, which is the same base as this, these trucks right here, and this green, blue, and red trucks as well. A BR weathered ventilated van that came with the air coding strike or set. Thomas cattle wagon, two southern railway cattle wagons, a mainline railways bolster wagon that's new, flatbed, I see, Father's Day wagon, two tar wagons, two Hornby Brown goods vans with ventilated doors, the one I, I really just have one first now, I have two, these, I don't know what you call them, but they're BR 256 stone like ballast trucks or something, I don't know. I think they're just like popular in my opinion. These mainline railway hopper trucks, iron ore and are more horror they're new. The Express Dairy Company English car, I think this is great model railways. Uh, two Buffman branch line conflats. This wagon, I don't know what brand this is from, but it's um, probably a mail van. I do not remember exactly where this came from. It says made in Great Britain. I don't remember what brand this was in. I kind of forgot. Let me know in the comments if you do know. EWS um, Hopper Truck. They have these two long container flatbeds. This car transporter with the three plastic cars. A London brick long red truck. Esso petrol tanker, Royal Daylight tanker, that's new, as well as this mainline rally's cattle wagon, three oil tankers, two Timmouth milk tankers, East Valley and Scrap Co. wagon, two mainline BR cool hopper trucks, one of which has a load that actually was customised, two Texo red wagons, this mainline Railways low loader that's new, although it's snapped the front, one end's actually broken off. I'm trying to do my best to try and keep it stable as I can, but I don't know, it just broke off. I have the Hamleys wagons from 2008 to 2011 and 2013. A white ventilator van. A LMS, yeah, 12T, I think. That has sliding door feature, that's kind of cool ventilated van by the way I don't know what it's called another like container truck I don't know the name of that one a cream utility van and this tender and this tender here it's not really like any truck or something but it's just for it in there just for, like maybe I can use this for a scrap tender one day like for a scrapyard piece of scenery it didn't I don't know what engine this was from but I presume it's from a Britannia or it was um, 9f or something must be Ethan Star. UT tanker, petrol shell tanker, a Prima Pet Food fan, two um, ventilated vans. This one here is new because it came with a Percy Man the mail set. The ice cream wagons, another raw, two raspberry syrup wagons. So that's why that cream tanker over there. Um, the Colesburg tanker, three of these yellow vans with the like, word silver unigate on there. On the chassis. This one is missing the body though. Must have got thrown away. Another container flatbed. This one's Triang. And then the last it off, rounding off the stack, we have a, another Hornby low loader. This Peco, uh, I don't know, wagon. And last but least, the shell lubricated oil tanker. I don't have any use. Whoops. I don't have any use for these two. I probably might get rid of them at some point because, you know. They just don't do well for me. Okay, so that covers my entire model rally collection, excluding track, buildings, and all other accessories. So I don't have the energy to get them out right now. So, 
Anyways, thank you all for watching. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath right now. So, see, thank you all for watching and leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to comment as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon for maybe more on the way. Take care out there, folks.